Hi, this is Dina with Digital Hotcakes, and I'm in Pro Show Producer, and I'm going to show you how to create a wedding intro using one of the cool backgrounds from Wedding Essentials Volume Number Five, specifically the Bride and Groom Background Number One. And I'm going to be working in widescreen, so the first thing I'm going to do is set up my show for widescreen, and I do that under Show Options, Show Settings, and just make sure the aspect ratio here is set to 16 by 9. And I'm going to start by putting in a blank slide here on slide number one. I'm going to right click on the, on the slide timeline and insert a blank slide. And I'm going to set that slide time to one second. And then I'm going to set the transition time to one second. That's going to give us a little fade in for our, for our intro. Now we're, we're going to be using an audio on, on this particular intro and we are using the Trumpet Voluntary from Fresh, a company called Fresh Music and it's their authentic classical CD. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to grab this audio file and I'm going to drop it into our soundtrack. And then I'm going to double click on the soundtrack and what first thing I want to do is right down here where it says offset I want to set this to two seconds this will make sure that the the audio doesn't start during our blank slide here and then I'm going to choose edit fades and timing and because I know the song and I know what the timing is I'm going to set its ending for 17 seconds now if you use a different song you're, you're gonna to have to play with the timing to see which part of it you want during the wedding intro but I know for this particular song that I need the first 17 seconds all right, I'm going to get done. And then for slide number two, we're going to start by dropping the bride and groom background wide animation. Let's just drop it in there and double click to open our slide options. And the first thing we want to do is go under layers, layer settings. And we want to make sure our aspect here where it says auto, we need to set that to 16 by 9. And then we set our show settings for widescreen, but ProShow doesn't always recognize all video files that are imported as being 16 by 9. So we just need to make sure we set that. Otherwise, your, your, your video is going to look a little bit off. Okay, now we can start creating our captions. So let's go under Captions, Caption Settings, and let's type in our first caption, which is going to be the date of the wedding. and I want this to be I want this to blend better with the background so under color set let's grab our eyedropper and drop it in this blue swirl right here okay and then let's position the title so it's almost in the center of the heart and I'm also going to change the opacity a little bit over here under with the opacity let's just type in 80 percent Okay, and uh, under text effects, fly in, we want this title to fade in. So we're going to choose a fade in. And under fly out, we're going to choose a fade out. Okay, now after we've done that, we can add our other two titles. Click on the plus sign, and the next title is going to be the name of the bride and groom. Okay, and then our last caption, we're going to have three captions, it's going to be wedding day. So we have the date, we have the name of the bride and groom, and then wedding day. Okay, so now we have all three of our captions. As you can see, they're not set in the right place, and their timing is not set yet, so let's do that. I'm going to click on Caption Motion. Let's go back to our, our wedding date layer, and we're going to right-click on the keyframe number one set time for this keyframe and we're going to set that to one second and then we're going to right click on its keyframe number two and we're going to set its time well let me try that again set time for this keyframe we're going to set it to six seconds okay so we're done with that particular caption so let's go to the bride and groom groom's name caption we're going to right click on its keyframe number one and we're going to set the time to seven seconds and because I know this animation I know the timing of it so I'm doing the work for you we're gonna make these titles appear and disappear as the as the animation is moving so let's right click on keyframe number two and we're gonna set its time for 12 seconds and now we we have our heart we can see our heart where this where this titles gonna appear so let's grab 
our, the name of our our bride and groom and let's draw, let's put it in the middle of this heart okay and because we've changed its position over here we need to make sure it's in the same position for keyframe number two so we're just going to type these numbers here over here we got 50 yeah, 43.58. Okay, now just make sure that it's in the same position throughout the whole time that it's on the screen. All right, so let's now choose our wedding day caption layer. We're going to right click on keyframe number one and we're going to set its time to 13 seconds. And we're going to right click on keyframe number two and we're going to set its time to 18 seconds and once again we're going to grab it and we're going to put it in the middle of the heart and type the position for keyframe one over here into keyframe two okay now we have the timing and positioning for all of our captions set we have to do one more thing and that's go set the timing of the animation we're actually not using the entire length of this animation so we need to fade it out so we're going to go under effects motion effects and you see we have our bride and groom layer here we're going to right click on keyframe number two and we're going to set its time to 19 seconds and we're also going to click on the cut transition here and change it to a fade and that'll do it we'll click OK and let's see what we have. 